like my own world I created where I'm living in Um it's um I sent the next picture also. It's um it's like the same thing. So sorry, I forgot to unmute myself. You were saying, Harry, that you did this photo too? Hello? Were, were you saying that you also, you did another photo as well or? or? Yeah, I did another photo before following it. Okay, the laptop one, you did that one too. Yes. Okay. Let, let's have people respond to your first one first, and then you can talk about the laptop one. Does that sound okay? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. So I see that some people were chatting a little bit about this photo, saying that they love it's such a cool photo, love the caption, get Harry Potter vibes. Um, what? Uh, I don't know if anybody's willing to share out loud their reactions to, to Harry's first photo here of the glasses. I mean, it kind of remind me of like someone who's always busy and working or like maybe even a bookworm. <laughs> but um, I really like how he placed the glasses in the photo because the way that it looks, it, it kind of makes you just get lost in what's going on. And especially the fact that he decided to put a book underneath. So it makes you wonder what it is that he's trying to show focus on when it comes to the words. Because you have, like, some words, like, that I could see clearly are, like, twisted, escaped, risk, love. So you already know that that's going to be something dark going on. And that person is clearly trying to show that um, that there's clearly some, uh, something going on. And um, that, that person's really going through it. <laughs> Love that. I love that look. Uh, uh, that's a really close look at the photo. Other reactions? One thing that stood out for me, Harry, was like you talking about building a world in your head um, and using books to do that. And I, I think that it's really interesting to think about how as a reader, you're reading someone's creative expression, but you also are doing something creative often in your head. And I hadn't really thought about that, but about how reading is a really cr creative experience for a lot of us, because we have to create something in our head as we're reading. So I thought that was just really cool and I hadn't thought about it like that. I don't know if that stood out to anybody else. I mean, a lot of the times we tend to read what interests us the most, maybe something that can be relatable to us. So I feel like that book in particular is probably something that he could relate to and that he can't necessarily put the book down because he's like, wow, like these characters are hurting just as much as I am. Like, I don't feel so alone in this struggle. Great. And thank you everyone. And okay, Harry, let's go to your second photo. Do you want to talk about that one now? Yes. Um, uh, it's, uh, like the idea of the same one as the book, but I took this photo about, about 2020, um, while we were at home under the lockdown. And, um, this was like my kind of get away from the old, uh, COVID thing and 
I was just like being in my room, my own space, and just listening to music. And um, it kind of just helps me, like, um, my own. Sp- I kind of think more clearly and um, takes my mind off things. It is my anxiety, and um, like just like my space, my own space, but physically and mentally, like I'm just in my own space, and I can, I can imagine things like a bit. Like things are all right, at least for that particular moment. Like things, everything is normal. So when you you're in your own little space, you can kind of imagine what you want about the yeah. world. Yes. Love that. Does that relate to anybody? To anybody else in the group, I guess what Harry's talking about, kind of trying to imagine a different world. Yeah. It's like kind of like trying to keep yourself like distracted and busy because if you do that you don't have to come into terms with reality and what's going on it's kind of like a gateway or like an escape and i I see tashiana um type definitely agree i don't know if you want to um elaborate on that a little bit okay well for me you know uh uh, during the pandemic, you know, uh, I would say we're still in the pandemic also, but, uh, you know, um, during the lockdown time, you know, uh, you needed things to, to get away from everything, you know, you needed something which you can do and then, you know, you forget about everything. So for me, is um, listening to music, you know, and also watching movies. And then this is what, um, he has just, um, showed here, you know, uh, and then, uh, I would say I started actually playing, um, the Call of Duty, you know, during the, uh, the pandemic, you know, at the beginning of the lockdown. So, uh, I, I needed things to get away from everything, you know. So, uh, is, um, it is good, you know, you have something which you could do and then you forget about, um, everything happening in the, in the society or, or around you, you know, just on um, the free and you know? Do what you want and then, then later, you know, you can then come back to reality. But, um, by the time you do that, you know, you'll be, you'll be free and then be happy again. Um, I actually do play Call of Duty and, um, I actually love it too. Uh, yeah. So Harry and Emmanuel, you both have something in common there. It seems like, and thank you so much for sharing these two photos, Harry and everybody for sharing your reactions. Just to ask, you had two great photos this week. Is one of them your favorite? It's okay if they're tied, but just want to ask. Um, it would be the first one. Okay. okay. Well, uh, I would like to actually, you know, play with you sometime. Yeah, same here. We could, uh, we could chat later or something. Okay, okay. Love that. Perfect. Well, I'm going to move us to our next photo, which is this one. That's mine. All right, go ahead. Um, I was, I'm, well, I'm still sick, but, um, I wasn't feeling well, and I was just, like, um, I guess, like, when you're sick, because I don't get sick often, often, it's a lot for me, so, um, I started drawing, well, coloring, to keep my mind off of things, and as you could see, I'm in my Mickey pajamas, too, um, yeah. I love that, and... I, I think this is great. I don't know if you want to um, read your caption. Um, I can't really draw, <laughs> but coloring makes me feel well while I'm sick because it keeps my mind on focus from not focusing on the negative. Fantastic. And then I saw Tashiana um, mentioned that she thought it was very cute in the chat. I don't know, Tashiana, if you want to say anything else. 